I may not have I may not have a lot of weight behind my opinions when it comes to the Super Smash Brothers for Wii U metagame, but I would not say that either Mario or Greninja are bottom 12 games characters in the game. If we're going by the rule set, these two are. And it looks like we are going to get SSB Matt or SSB Mac, as it were, versus uh, Redeemer Z playing Dr. Mario. We're going straight to Cat or Smashville. I said Smashville at the same time as I read the word capsules on that tip screen, and that's why that word came out as the way that it did. That was an interesting way that was an interesting way to escape that up B. Little Mac with stage control is one of the scarier, one of the scarier forces to contend with in this game, but that uh, rapid jab is relatively easier to S uh, relatively easy to SDI. Oh, and he gets a uh, solid tech, and he gets the up B for it, and that's the first stock. He uh, lost his KO punch along the way, but he's going to have a chance to build that up if he doesn't get F smashed. But. Uh, now we're on a fully even final stock in this game one of losers finals in the low tier side tournament. And Mac does have uh, surprisingly uh, quick aerials that he can use to escape things like those uh, Mario, doc now Dr. Mario strings. He goes for that, uh, I, looks like a down tilt forward air into uh, into other stuff. He can he combo that into KO punch earlier, and now he has that option again. And Redeemer's not going to give it to him. He's just going to end the game on his own terms. SSB Matt uh, looking really confident with his little Mac. Um, uh, haven't I'm, I haven't been following the low tier tournaments aside, or tournament besides what I've seen, but haven't seen a lot of uh, opponents who have been able to really have an answer for it. It's a very uh, solid, solid character for Matt. He's going for the two frame with that down tilt, but it's uh, it's difficult to do that against Dr. Mario. <laughs> Redeemer Z uh, keeping himself loose with that with that taunt on the platform, but uh, he should know better than anyone which characters you should and should not try to land on if they have an up smash like that. He's uh, and Redeemer Redeemer's not going to fall for that. He's not going to fall for that counter. But Matt now has KO Punch on deck for a few more seconds, and now he doesn't. A lot of uh, very slow walking. Random forward smash, just throwing it out, and it catches uh, Redeemer. Maybe not DIing uh, the, where he needs to be. Very smart recovery to get back on stage. Oh wow. Mario cannot be through <laughs> Mario and now we know that Mario can, uh, Dr. Mario cannot be through that uh edge guard attempt. Using that up B really as a as an escape button. Surprisingly patient, Matt. Uh, I I wonder if uh, this is a product from playing Ike so much, who is a character who requires a lot of patience. Um, but Matt plays. Uh, we're seeing now Little Mac, but he also plays a lot of Greninja, and I'm wondering if uh, the patience that he shows with other characters who are not thought of typically as 
um, patient characters um, is a result of playing so much Ike. And KO on deck. And <laughs> whiffs with it and eats a back throw for his trouble. So game one is going to go to Redeemer Z. Or game two. Game two. Playing a fun little rhythm game with the character select screen right now. And we're just going to keep the same characters. Or maybe not. Alright, so it is Matt. Or is it Mac versus Mar Dr. Mario? Dr. Mac DeMario. Just throwing him all across the stage with those punches. Really, really good reaction to not get hit by that dash attack. It's, it's one of those things that it's so fast that even though it's possible to react to it if you're expecting it, uh, you aren't always expecting it enough to react to it to the point where someone who has that kind of attack can just throw it out and it'll hit and wow that Mario, Dr. Mario doesn't make it back the edge guarding uh, edge going to going to Matt right now KO punch on deck and he's going to try and get something out of it here out of that after that rapid jab but nothing doing no KO punches uh, connected so far this set. Oh, wow. Extends his hurt box using the forward smash. And gets hit by the Mar by Dr. Mario's forward smash there. Text the stage spike. And we're both back on stage. But Redeemer still has to get this second stock off, or this first stock off. And eating forward smashes is not the way to do it. Gets the ledge trump and gets a down smash for it. Interesting. Back throw will definitely take it at that percent. KO punch never even coming into effect. Oh, he went for the ledge trump, but almost, uh, almost paid for it with a life. Just barely whiffing with that dash attack. Redeemer was thinking about going deep for that edge guard, but tries to cape instead. And now uh, that uh, up smash on shield. Now this is a pretty scary position for Mac. He does have KO punch, but he's got a long way back. And this might just do it. That back throw might be enough. But he does make it back to the ledge. But the KO punch uh, was lost in the process. And now both characters over 110. This is getting close to last hit. And that forward tilt. Really, really good patience. He's going to try and do it. Oh, he tried to do it again. But great DI. He's not going to make it back from that. Despite a uh, really good survival DI on that back throw, uh, he just doesn't have the recovery tools he needs to make it back. And that's the price you pay for having such a good ground game. So that is, I think, Redeemer Z moving on over, over SSB Matt, who takes third place here at the low tier side tournament.
now Redeemer Z moves on to Grand Finals against Vex Kezrani, who you would probably expect to see in Grand Finals of a low tiers tournament, being the specialist that he is. He's got his water, he's hydrating up, and we are getting ready to go here. <laughs> 